common nerve injuries around the shoulder. The axillary nerve, it supplies the deltoid muscle. It arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The axillary nerve runs anteriorly across the subscapularis muscle. The nerve passes through the quadrangular space. The quadrangular space boundaries are the teres minor, proximally the teres major, distally, the humerus, laterally, and the long head of the triceps medially. Within that space, the nerve is joined by the posterior humeral circumflex artery. The axillary nerve supplies the muscles of the deltoid and teres minor and gives sensation over the shoulder area. When the nerve is injured, there will be weakness of shoulder abduction, atrophy of the deltoid muscle, and numbness in the deltoid region. The axillary nerve is commonly injured due to fractures or dislocation of the shoulder joint. When the axillary nerve is injured in the quadrangular space, there will be pain, parathesia with overhead activity. The injury is usually diagnosed clinically and with the addition of angiogram or MRI. Musculocutaneous nerve, it supplies the biceps muscle. The musculocutaneous nerve arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It supplies the crocobrachialis and biceps muscles of the shoulder. It also supplies the brachialis muscle on the lateral side of the arm. The nerve arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus and can be injured from shoulder trauma or surgery. When the nerve is injured, there will be weakness of elbow flexion and forearm spination. Diagnosis. Test the biceps muscle by having the patient flex a fully spinated forearm against resistance. With injury to the nerve, the patient will have numbness in the anterolateral forearm due to involvement of the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Long thoracic nerve serratus anterior muscle. The long thoracic nerve comes from the roots of C5, C6, and C7. It supplies the serratus anterior muscle. Medial winging of the scapula is most commonly caused by a deficit in the serratus anterior muscle due to injury of the long thoracic nerve. Here there is an example of medial winging of the scapula. The spinal accessory nerve, trabezius muscle. The spinal accessory nerve controls specific muscles of the shoulder and neck. The spinal accessory nerve is the sole motor nerve of the trabezius. Lateral winging of the scapula occurs due to injury of the spinal accessory nerve affecting the trabezius. Disruption of this nerve will cause weakness of the trabezius muscle and painless limitation of the active elevation of the arm. Dorsal scapular nerve, rhomboides minor and major. The nerve arises from the C5 nerve root. It supplies the rhomboides minor and major. Injury to the nerve causes rhomboids winging. It is similar to winging of the trabezius with arm elevation. Subrascabular nerve, it supplies supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscle. It arises from the upper trunk of the brachial plexus. The suprascabular nerve passes under the transverse scabular ligament at the suprascabular notch. The transverse scapular artery runs above the ligament. The artery and nerve join and then pass through the spinoglenoid notch 
under the inferior scapular ligament. The suprascapular nerve give branches to the supraspinatus muscle and infraspinatus muscle. Nerve compression at the suprascapular notch affect both supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles, causing decrease in abduction and loss of external rotation. Nerve compression at the spinoglenoid notch affect only the infraspinatus, causing loss of external rotation. The spinoglenoid notch compression can occur in volleyball players and can be associated with cysts, with ganglia, or slap tears. The infraspinatus muscle is the primary external rotator of the shoulder, neuropathic shoulder joint. We call it the Charcot joint. It is a destructive process of the shoulder joint associated with neurosensory deficit. Patient with syringomyelia of the spine, diabetes or cephalus or other neuropathies may become prone to Charcot joint of the shoulder. Here is an example of syringomyelia, which is a cavity within the spinal cord. Please get an MRI of the C-spine in patient with a Charcot shoulder joint. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.